The Lermax 2 is one of the first phones to ditch the traditional headphone socket in favor of USB Type-C audio. We find out if it's any good in our review. The unibody metal design gives the Lermax 2 a premium feel, but it's a heavy phone and can be slippery for one-handed use. The 5.7-inch Quad HD display produces crisp visuals and colors. However, we wish the edges had been curved as the phone feels a bit too sharp when you hold it. Other than this, we have no complaints about its design. Along with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 SoC, you have a choice between 4GB RAM and 32GB storage or 6GB RAM and 64GB storage. Neither variant lets you expand the storage. The phone also supports the multi-user MIMO Wi-Fi standard, which is a nice addition. However, FM radio and NFC are missing. The Lermax 2 is one of the first phones to support Lur Eco's continuous digital lossless audio standard, which promises lossless audio playback through compatible earphones. Special circuitry in the phone and the headphones ensure that the audio signal being reproduced doesn't lose any quality. Currently, we have only Lur Eco's own CDLA headset to test this with. It's sold separately but sounds good with detailed highs and good audio separation. However, its design also lets in a lot of ambient noise, due to which bass response isn't the best. You can still use your own headphones by using the bundled 3.5mm adapter. Performance is snappy and there's always ample RAM at your disposal. The Lermax 2 handles 4K videos and demanding games with ease. The customized version of Android Marshmallow is called EUI and takes some getting used to as certain menu items have been moved around. Lur Eco gives you a one-year premium subscription to its supertainment suite of streaming services. This includes curated videos, full-length movies, and live TV. The primary camera captures detailed landscapes and macros, although minor shutter lag can result in a bit of blur if you're not careful. Focusing speed is good in most lighting conditions. Video quality at 4K resolution is good too. There's also a slow motion mode, but the quality isn't great. The camera app lacks a professional mode, so you can't control the focus or the shutter speed. Finally, the front camera does a decent job for selfies. The Lermax 2 will last you an entire day and then some on a single charge. And there's also support for fast charging. The 4GB variant of the Lermax 2 is priced at 22,999 rupees, which makes it the least expensive Snapdragon 820 smartphone in the market. On the other hand, the 6GB variant retails at 29,999 rupees which puts it in the crosshairs of the OnePlus 3. Between the two phones, we'd have to give a nod towards the OnePlus 3 for its more manageable size, better software, and the fact that it's easier to buy. So that was our review of the Lermax 2. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Gadgets360.